friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel as usual my channel is about information sharing information that will be beneficial to anyone and I'm so excited because one person one subscriber was able to get his work permit um, last week Thursday I'm so excited for that and um, it's my it's when I hear news like that I I feel so happy that at least um, there is progress being made so that people can genuinely um, immigrate to Canada and do the right thing and that's why I started this channel so that being said today is immigration Monday and I also want to apologize to anybody it's like I'm apologizing all the time I'm apologizing to people who have not responded to their emails and that's because the emails are so many and I'm, I'm having a bit of a headache a lot of the time you know trying to um, read and then search the necessary information that is relevant to everybody because each person's case is unique and peculiar so I cannot give the same information to everybody so that being said I'll quickly dive into what I'll be talking about today and anytime I talk about immigration I like to sit down and talk about it because I'll be making use of my computer to um, read the information out so today I'll be talking about um, the home home child care provider pilot and home support worker pilot so this is one thing i would like to share to everyone a lot of people who are in canada today most of them came as some of them i won't say most of them a lot of people came as um, either living caregivers home child care provider or home support worker because there are so many people who need help in these areas in Canada and um, some families who have um, family members with um, nursing needs uh, family members with high with disabilities and they will need a, somebody that will live with them and take care of the person with disability so a lot of people hire people from outside Canada to come to the job because there are lots of Canadians who do not like doing such jobs so the home care industry the home child care industry and the support industry is a huge industry in Canada where a lot of people come in as temporary foreign workers or come in with work permit and are able to um, you know spend some years and after which they apply for permanent residency status and become permanent residents in Canada so that's what I want to share today so as of June 18th last as of June 18th of this year I think that was last week um, some part of the caregiver program was scrapped and two new program was introduced um, as of as of June 18th and prior to this program only caregivers who are living in Canada were able to apply for permanent residency status that means they must have come to Canada under work permit and then after some years they apply for permanent residency so those were the category of people who were um, eligible to apply for permanent resident status but now the new pilot that was introduced on on the 18th of June this new pilot um, it has two knock code which is knock code 4411 and uh, which is the home child care provider and the second knock code is 4412 which is the home support worker so these two new pilots that were introduced um, gives the opportunity for home child care providers, home child care provider and home support workers who are outside of Canada to apply for work permit and at the same time apply for permanent residency status at the same time. So I will be talking about the process and as usual I leave the link of um, the whole process in the description box of any video I talk about on immigration so that you can go and look at it yourself. So if you know um, you are a home child care provider and there are lots of home child care providers I know there are lots of uh, home child care providers who are in most of these Arab countries and you know some of them are even suffering which unfortunately if they had the right information they would have even come to Canada which is even better for them because Canada has laws that protect this group of people so if you know you're a home child care provider and if you know you're a home support worker assistance um, to someone who is sick or is disabled 
or has a terminal ailment you know those are the two categories of people who can apply even if you are living outside of Canada. So I'll be talking about how the process works and I'll be reading out, reading it out from the website. Number one, it says you, you need to apply to either the home child care provider pilot or the home support worker pilot depending on which occupation you plan to work in. Number two, you submit a work permit application together with your permanent residence application. Number three, if you meet the requirements, you get a work permit to work in Canada temporarily. And then number four, the work permit get you get is an occupation restricted open work permit and lets you work as a caregiver for any employer. What that means is if you get a work permit to come into Canada to work as a home child care provider or a home um, support worker, and you are working with employer A and employer A does not, you are, you are having problems with employer A, you can actually look for another employer to employ you. That means you can move from one employer to another, but it has to be in that same occupation. So, and that's uh, the first process. So the next one is at least you must get 24 months of work experience. So what it means is if you come into Canada um, under the home child care provider pilot or the home support worker provider pilot you you need to work at least for 24 months that's two years before you can submit or before you can qualify to become a permanent resident so you have to work for two years 24 months before you can apply to become a permanent resident in Canada and then number six you have to send the proof of your work experience and then um, the IRCC will make a decision on your application and give you a permanent resident status so this is another very good way of coming to canada and i know there are a lot of home workers home sorry home uh, support workers and home child care providers all over the world um, if you intend to come to canada or if you intend to come to canada to become a permanent resident this is another viable option for you to come to canada so what happens is uh, for you to really apply for this program you need to have at least educational qualifications it doesn't matter what kind of educational qualifications you have but if you if this is the kind of job you're doing and i know there are lots of graduates who are doing this job outside of their home country in different places working as home care child provider or home support worker anywhere in the world there are lots of graduates number one you have to evaluate your credential because you cannot apply for permanent resident status um, and work permit without evaluating your credential you also need to write IELTS so those two things are are very important you cannot apply um, for permanent residence and work permit without having these two things because those are the two things that you will need to apply for both so how will you go about it um, what people do is to search for jobs and to be sincere there are a lot of organizations who hire home um, child care provider and home support workers from outside of Canada. They hire a lot of them to come into Canada to work and there are some people who are already in Canada who can do the job as well. But if you are outside of Canada and uh, this video is for people who are outside of Canada, if you're outside of Canada, the first thing you should do is to search for a family or a search for your, an organization that is recruiting home child care provider or home support worker and you need to provide proof that you have been doing this because you know it's a vulnerable sector and it's subject to you going through a lot of checks like criminal record check adult abuse check child abuse check so they will check all these things for you so if you claim to be a home child care provider you should at least provide proof you should at least provide a portfolio of the places you have worked with um, an example of you providing a portfolio is um, pictures you know if you have pictures of where you work and the people you work with if you're taking care of children if you have pictures of the number of families you have stayed with that's enough proof to show that you, you are genuinely a home child care provider and if you're taking care of a disabled person I, I don't I don't know if it is okay to take pictures with um, this group of people but if you if you can Put a portfolio at least provide proof of the kind of work you do um, that's 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 one thing that can help you get the job 
Then another thing is to search on the job uh, job sites like you can register with job bank and register with indeed or Waco police any of the job sites and just put home child care provider you will see a lot of people looking for home child care provider some say living caregiver and there was even one i was searching for on friday was it on friday i can't remember the day but um in ikalit i de deliberately went to ikalit because ikalit is in nunavut and these areas are places where people do not want to go to and in those places they look for people who will come to work for them so if you search for child care um, home child care provider or home support worker in those places you will see i think what i found was one worker who was looking for a home child care provider and the person was saying the person even listed on the on the website on job bank that he is willing to process the person's um, work permit so that's how to go about looking for the job you just go online search for home child care provider or home support worker and if there are available jobs you apply send in your application and if the employer gets in touch with you you're able to prove yourself you're able to prove the kind of work you do and then they will even go ahead and process your work permit for you and you at the same time you must have evaluated your credential you must have written IELTS so you're applying for a work permit at the same time also applying for permanent residency at the same time but you will have to come into Canada using a work permit and you must work for 24 months which is two years before you can now qualify for permanent resident status and then you send in all your um, work hours to IRCC and then they will now um, process your application and grant you a permanent resident status then another thing is when you are looking for the job some of these um, home child care jobs some require that you live with them while some require that you have to find your own accommodation yourself and then you go work and then go back to your house so those are the two things you have to look out for and ask yourself do you want to live with the care, live with the family or do you want to um, um, look for your own house and stay on your own and another beautiful thing about this new new um, program is that if you are applying for a work permit you can also at the same time apply for the work permit of your family members so your family members can even come to Canada with you while you're working as a caregiver or as a child support worker or, or home support worker while you're working your family members are in Canada as well at the same time also working and going to school as well as long as you have the work permit your family members will also have work permits to work in Canada that's the beautiful thing about this new program so I encourage anyone out there if you know you have the experience if you know you have the, the qualification um, just like I said I will leave the link below on the description box of the video you go ahead and apply the first thing to do is get your credentials evaluated because it is necessary it's important um, write your IELTS exam that's number two and then start looking for jobs start looking for the home child care home, home uh, sorry home child care provider jobs or home support worker provider jobs start searching for them look for um, areas that are not so popular and look for provinces that are not so popular you can look for um, jobs in the Northwest Territories in Yukon in Nunavut in New Brunswick anywhere if you decide to look for for one in Ontario you can also get depend depending on the employer you want to even if you decide to search for in Ontario wherever you want to live if it's Manitoba you search for another thing I want to also mention is that this kind of jobs they pay according to the minimum wage so it's most times it's the minimum wage they pay um, people for this kind of jobs so you also need to know the minimum wage of the province you are you intend to work in or where you intend to live in um, i think i'll be doing a video on minimum wage uh, very soon so that um, i can share that information and make people aware of what the minimum wage is like because it's not the same in each province it's different from province to province so let's say you're looking for a home child care provider work in manitoba um, if you eventually get the job, what you will be paid is $11.35 per hour for such a job. So that's the information I want to share and I hope um, people make use of this opportunity 
for people who have the experience in providing child care it's a very beautiful opportunity to come into canada as a permanent resident anywhere you are in the world you can apply at the same time just like i mentioned um, get these two things ready your credentials evaluated write an ielts exam and then start looking for a job you will likely get a job because um, a lot of people are looking for home child care providers and um, home support workers that's the information i want to share today thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye